channel and hello if you're new here. I'm Steph and my husband Pete and our three-year-old son Hayes are just on that train right there because we are leaving Delhi and headed to our next destination on our absolute favorite mode of transportation, trains, in our favorite country to take them, India. And I can't wait. We just love Indian trains so much. Okay. What was your snack request? Pete There's part about a train journey. It's getting some snacks. And so that's probably gonna be mad, but I gotta hate some ice cream. What about you, Chai? The ice cream. It looks like yogurt to me. Yeah, yogurt. He was alright. Pete and I have been on a lot of Indian trains, but this is Hayes's first ever train in India. I'm true to form. The train's not even left yet. And we're already eating some of the snacks. One thing that we haven't done on Indian trains before is order food, but when I purchased our tickets, it said, do you want to order food? And then it gave me a list of stations online and I could click which stop I wanted it at and then choose my meal. And we're just like crossing our fingers that it happens. It sounds so cool, but I just got a text saying that our order has been accepted and the restaurant is on cooking mode. I will add though that the Indian Railways biryani is very, very good. By the way, this isn't going to be a video about trains. We're going to be in a lot of trains. A lot of our videos are going to feature trains. Most of this video is going to be about Bundi, which is where we're going. But we will give you a little train tour in a little bit. Oh, hi. Whoa! That was so quick. I spotted him before the train even stopped outside the window, ready to deliver it to us. And this is the information he was working with. So, A2 is our car. Eight is our seat number. This, I believe, is our order. And that is my phone number. This beautiful tally set us back under three dollars. Two. Oh, under two dollars. <laughs> Even better. Um, we got some rice. We got some uh, yogurt with chickpeas in it. Um, some veg. We got some dal. We got a ladu. Maybe this is like a sweet bowl of goodness here with some syrup and some chapatis as well. He's been asking about this lassie since we got on this train. So glad he's finally got it. And it's um, rose flavor. <coughs> Not my cup of tea. Okay, real quick, a bathroom tour. There are people waiting. Um, I don't know, what is there to say? You've got a toilet, western style, a flush, a toilet sprayer, um, no toilet paper, soap, sink, an outlet to do some shaving and Mystic Rose air freshener but I will be quite frank and say that it smells only like urine in here. It's not the worst I've seen, it's certainly not the best I've seen. If you are a particular bathroom person, you might not enjoy this. But fun fact about me, I can use the bathroom anywhere. Now you're seeing the bathroom, um, I'll show you the train car. We should have done this before our neighbors got on the train. I don't even know if you can hear me. Now it's very crowded, but we are traveling in Two. Basically, AC2 means that it is air conditioned. Uh, it's the second class down below first class, which is a similar layout but in cabins, and AC2 is wide open. We actually, this is probably, I don't want to speak for you, this is my favorite class because the cabins I find can get quite cramped if it's just two of you and you might have two neighbors and you don't know who you're stuck with. This one, you can kind of want people wander up and down and uh, you're open to the chai wallet. Hey. And the people selling samosas and uh, people move seats and chit chat and get on and off and we really like that. Anyway, so you've got um, air conditioned and then two berths and then below this class there's AC3. Yeah, AC3 with the same setup with three berths. You can see kind of behind me that you have curtains for privacy. This is an overnight train, if it were you have curtains and you have your own little kind of capsule. Uh, when you get on the train there's pillows and sheets. They just came by with blankets and there's outlets. It's really comfortable. <laughs> so we made it to Bundi. Uh, I think I didn't film anything at the end of the train because it, honestly it's too much trying to get all of our luggage and haze and everything off the train. Um, and we arrived into Kota which is about an hour from Bundi. And honestly, I feel lucky to be alive right now. The taxi journey was, let's just say, I don't know the last, like I really can't remember the last time I was that frightened. Um, but we're here and 
our hotel is lovely. I'll show it to you later, but we're gonna get some food and get some rest and see you tomorrow in Bundy. <sighs> Okay, so why would somebody come to Bundi? From what we've read, there's a famous fort, no, palace. There's also a famous step well. Roger Kipling liked it a lot here. Well, you might just come because it's a lot less touristy than some of the other cities in Rajasthan. And that's about all we know. We've got a couple of days here, so hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have some reasons of our own to visit Bundi. So far, I we just love being in these kinds of places. Love it here so much. We found the first step well. I don't know if this is the famous one. It is incredible. Very deep, very big, also very dirty. Pete for scale. That's cool. Yeah, by the uh, some human feces down there, but apart from that, that's good. This is so cool. I've not seen anything like this in India. <laughs> Last one. You're not listening to me. You're very dangerous. How dirty these are. If you fall in that lake, it's, you're done. <laughs> it is not. Not for everybody. <laughs> one thing about Boondi is that there's like a bunch of little baby. What are you calling them? Wild boars? I'm calling them warthogs. Some sort of pig-like animal. I, have we seen them in India anywhere? I don't know. I've not seen a lot of oh, pigs. Oh, maybe. I feel like maybe down in Goa, maybe. <coughs> anyway, they're all over. They're cute. It must be like breeding season or something. There's a lot of babies. And they're hanging out with the cows. Did you want me to tell you something about the fort of the palace? <laughs> they're having dinner on a beautiful rooftop in Rajasthan. Good morning, it's the next day in Bundi, and before we go do some sightseeing, we've come to get the best cup of coffee in town, which can be found at Cafe Romeo. Hi, hi everyone. Whenever you want a good coffee, good fresh, healthy foods, you come and you're most welcome to Bundi and Cafe Romeo is welcoming you with organic tea and coffee and organic healthy foods. Look at my place. The Mumbai Mirror is my favorite publication in India. So fort just goes straight. Just one way, one way. Okay. And excuse me, <laughs> when you see the red face monkey, so you do like this, okay? And monkey go like this, okay? okay? And be careful your camera, and be careful the toy for children and yeah. everything you keep in the pocket and look after your self, everybody. Yeah. Because the red face monkeys, they are very aggressive, yeah. so I can yeah, give yeah. you the stick for you. Everybody, I'm kindly the people, and people are kindly for us. Perfect. And excuse me, when you visit the palace fort and everything, then after people tired and hungry, trusty and everything, then after come my place, have a good thali, fresh food, and have healthy food, fresh food. And my place is very good, let's see with the dry food, pistachio, saffron, and everything. Bye. See you. Yes, Bye. see you. <laughs> Thank you. You're a lovely family. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. So that was Jay. He's uh, famous on like TripAdvisor and Google for being the man about town that gives you sticks for monkeys. I think we got out lucky in that we got the stick without Jay. Because I've read that like he's very friendly but a little overbearing. I read somewhere that they built this fort up from the palace on this like steep hill to guard themselves from attacking elephants. Mommy said there was Tiger elephant. Hey, quick pow wow. A 
couple of options. There's a small fort here, which might be fun to go inside. Or there's the obviously the bigger Trag Targal. Targal fort. But I'm worried it looks a little uh, bit of a longer walk for Hayes. So. This is us giving up, which is not unusual here. <laughs> we're quite happy seeing it from afar and exploring the palace. So when we were like planning where to go and when my parents come visit, which is a surprise to Hayes, we were being told that like places were fully booked. We, it was really hard to get reservations. Now that we're in Boondi, which doesn't seem to be on the tourist circuit. It's like hard to believe that there's places in India right now where you can't get reservations. Our hotel, which we're gonna show you this afternoon, is empty. There's one other couple and these sites just have nobody here. But like can highly, highly recommend it. It's like if you wanna see the not so touristy side of Rajasthan, this, sorry, just had a monkey. This is a must, come check it out. Wait, this they gave us a stick now. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> oh. I say that I love monkeys and I do, but they're not always yeah. nice. <laughs> Watching this because you're actually coming to Boondi? That's cool. Uh, but also the biggest pro tip is to get this stick from Jay. <laughs> uh, and if you're Jay and you're watching this, thank you Jay. One thing I want you to remember is uh, sustain your heritage and feel glorious. All right, this is phenomenal. And I think it's more phenomenal because there's just less people. So you can like really enjoy it compared to other big forts that we've been to in India. So I'm loving it. We haven't explored even the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna head back because Hayes wants to go home. And there's a lot of palaces in our future. And so we're trying to listen to his cues when he's had enough for the morning. He's still adjusting to India for sure uh, so that we can keep having good adventures like today. He hiked up that whole way by himself. Uh, and he's done really, really great. Hi, come on, hi. Most welcome. Please come on, make a bit too late. Jay's Cafe is one of the things I love about India. Jay is such an entrepreneur. We first saw him in town yesterday. He was telling us about his cafe. Then today, as we were walking to the palace, he gave us a stick to ward off monkeys, which was so useful. So of course, when we came down, we decided to stop and have a drink. It's in his home. They're so friendly. He's given us this guest book to read while we wait, and it's just full of like glowing reviews. There's no playground here, unfortunately. Uh, glowing reviews from everybody that's been here, and it's just so, I love that kind of like entrepreneurial hustling nature here. Soda is coming. Okay, yes, and your lassi is coming, okay? Ah, when you get out. We've got company. Just here. Typical Wednesday, sat having a lassi with a, what is this, a parrot or a parakeet or something? Let's go, Chavo. Jay's was a lovely stop. And now we're headed back to our hotel for Hayes' nap and some time to play Lego. By the way, we are staying at a place called Boondi Haveli and it is lovely. It's really central. It's an old, charming Haveli. I love the room. There's like really lovely bedding and art and the best part, sorry, honking, is the like royal sleeping nook that Hayes stays in. So sometimes the hotels here are so lovely if you're traveling with a kid because there's all these little like nooks and extra mattresses and it's never a big deal to get an extra blanket or a pillow. Um, so that's lovely. In the morning there's breakfast, delicious chai and omelets, a beautiful rooftop, beautiful views. And it's really central for exploring everything in Bundi. I mean, Bundi's tiny. Definitely recommend it if you're coming. It's very affordable. It's not a fancy place 
uh, but it's everything you need, very affordable. The one caveat I will say is that there is a wedding venue next door, but the music doesn't go that late, so really it hasn't been much of a problem. So big thank you to Bundi Haveli for hosting us, especially Raju, who has been lovely. For our last sightseeing stop in Bundi, we have come to the Cenotaph? 84 Cenotaphs? Just one moment while I look up what a Cenotaph is. Oh, it's an empty tomb for a dead person whose remains are elsewhere. Gonna be honest, not my favorite thing I've seen. I poop. I poop. I poop. You pooped at the cenotaph? BRB. Evidently, 84 is the number of cycles of rebirth until you reach salvation. All right, these are little golden nuggets for Stephanie when she's editing, because she doesn't know that I'm doing this. Come back to Cafe Romeo where we had coffee this morning because in the evening he offers Thank you. It's just like a set meal, like no menu, just it has a family that cooks. And if you want dinner, you can come have it. And we have this beautiful food. Bon appetit. So for dinner we have some sort of alu gobi sort of situation. Alu gobi mater. There's peas. Uh, some dal, some rice, some papa, some chapati, one gulab jamun. It's great. This is our last evening in Bundi, which means we are on to the next place tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you're curious where we're going, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. That's it. That's it. That's the video. Still here and you're Indian and you know a lot about Indian cuisine. I realized I didn't get the answer to one of my questions. Bundi Raita, which is the yogurt when it has like the little fried chickpea balls, is that named after Bundi? We haven't encountered it. Let me know.